In the quiet town of Whiskerville, nestled between rolling hills and a sparkling river, there lived a shy tabby queen named Millie. Her fur was a beautiful blend of orange and brown stripes, and her big green eyes always seemed to sparkle with curiosity. Despite her striking appearance, Millie was a reserved and gentle soul, preferring the comfort of her own company and the soothing sounds of the forest over the hustle and bustle of town life. Millie's world revolved around her family and her little house on the edge of the Whispering Woods. She loved exploring the forest, climbing trees and listening to the birds sing. But there was one place that filled Millie with dread. The Whiskerville Academy. School was a daunting place for Millie, where the other kittens could be unkind and the hallways echoed with laughter that wasn't always friendly. Every morning, Millie would walk to school with her head down, hoping to avoid the attention of the other students. But it seemed that no matter how hard she tried, the school bullies, Fluffy, a large and boastful Persian, and her sidekick Whiskers, a sneaky Siamese, always found a way to make her feel small. They mocked her quiet nature, her shy demeanour and even her beloved tabby stripes. One crisp autumn morning, as the leaves turned shades of amber and gold, Millie felt particularly anxious. She knew that today was the day of the annual Harvest Festival, a school event filled with games, performances and competitions. Millie dreaded this day most of all because it meant more opportunities for Fluffy and Whiskers to humiliate her in front of everyone. As Millie walked into the schoolyard, she saw students buzzing with excitement, setting up booths and decorating the playground. The festive atmosphere did little to ease her nerves. She took a deep breath and headed toward her classroom, hoping to find a quiet corner to hide in until the festivities began. Hey, Millie, look who decided to show up. Fluffy's voice rang out, causing Millie to freeze. Fluffy and Whiskers sauntered over, smirking. Are you going to participate in the festival or are you too scared? Fluffy sneered. Millie tried to ignore them and walked past, but Whiskers blocked her path. Don't be rude, Millie. We're just trying to include you, he said, his tone dripping with sarcasm. Tears welled up in Millie's eyes, but she blinked them back. She wouldn't give them the satisfaction of seeing her cry. She pushed past them and made her way to the classroom, where she found solace in her favourite seat by the window. As the day progressed, Millie watched her classmates practice for the festival. She saw Ruby, a graceful calico, rehearsing her dance routine, and Max, a playful Maine Coon, perfecting his juggling act. Millie loved watching her friends shine, but it also made her feel more inadequate. What could she possibly contribute to the festival? During lunch, Millie sat alone under a large oak tree, nibbling on her sandwich. She thought about the festival and the talent show that would take place in the afternoon. She remembered the stories her grandmother used to tell her about the brave queens of old, who faced challenges with courage and grace. Millie wished she could be like them. As the lunch hour came to a close, Millie heard a rustling in the bushes nearby. She turned to see a small, scruffy kitten with bright blue eyes staring at her. Hi, the kitten said timidly. I'm Oliver, I just moved here. Millie smiled warmly. Hello, Oliver. I'm Millie, do you need any help? Oliver nodded. I'm scared about the festival. I don't know anyone and I don't have any talents to show. Millie's heart went out to the little kitten. She knew exactly how he felt. It's okay, Oliver. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. Why don't you come sit with me during the festival? We can watch together. Oliver's face lit up with gratitude. Really? Thank you, Millie. The afternoon arrived and the schoolyard was transformed into a lively carnival. Stalls lined the edges, filled with delicious treats and fun games. The main stage was set up for performances and students gathered in anticipation. Millie and Oliver found a spot near the back, away from the crowd, but with a clear view of the stage. The talent show began and one by one, students took the stage, showcasing their skills. Ruby's dance was mesmerising and Max's juggling act brought laughter and applause. 
even Fluffy and Whiskers had prepared a comedy routine, which, though mean-spirited, got some laughs from the audience. As Millie watched, she felt a pang of longing. She wanted to be up there, showing everyone that she wasn't just the shy tabby queen they thought she was. She wanted to be brave, like the queens in her grandmother's stories. But doubt crept in and she shook her head. No, she couldn't do it. The show was nearing its end when the principal, a wise and kind old tortoiseshell named Mrs. Paws, took the stage. We have time for one more act, she announced. Is there anyone who hasn't had a chance to perform? The crowd was silent and Millie felt her heart race. She glanced at Oliver, who was looking at her with wide, hopeful eyes. You can do it, Millie, he whispered. I believe in you. Something shifted inside Millie. She felt a warmth spread through her chest, and before she knew it, she was standing up. I... I have something to share, she said, her voice trembling but steady. The crowd parted as Millie made her way to the stage. She could feel everyone's eyes on her, including Fluffy and Whiskers, who looked surprised and amused. Millie took a deep breath and closed her eyes, thinking of her grandmother and the brave queens of old. When she opened her eyes, Millie began to sing. Her voice, though soft at first, grew stronger with each note. She sang a song her grandmother had taught her, a beautiful, haunting melody that spoke of courage, love and resilience. As she sang, Millie felt her fear melt away. She poured her heart into the song, letting the music carry her. The audience was silent, captivated by Millie's voice. Even Fluffy and Whiskers seemed to be in awe. When she finished, there was a moment of stillness before the crowd erupted into applause. Millie felt a surge of joy and pride. She had done it. She had found her courage and shown everyone who she truly was. As Millie stepped off the stage, she was greeted by her classmates, who congratulated her and praised her performance. Ruby hugged her tightly. Millie, that was amazing. I had no idea you could sing like that. Max nodded enthusiastically. You were incredible, Millie. You should sing more often. Even Fluffy and Whiskers approached her, looking sheepish. You have a beautiful voice, Millie, Fluffy admitted. We, we're sorry for the way we've treated you. Whiskers nodded in agreement. Yeah, we're sorry. We were wrong. Millie smiled, feeling a weight lift off her shoulders. Thank you, she said simply. I forgive you. Oliver ran up to Millie, his eyes shining with admiration. You were so brave, Millie. I want to be brave like you. Millie knelt down and hugged Oliver. You are brave, Oliver. It takes courage to ask for help and to be kind. Remember that. The rest of the festival was a blur of happiness and celebration. Millie felt a newfound confidence and sense of belonging. She had faced her fears and overcome them, and in doing so, she had found her voice. As the sun set over Whiskerville, casting a golden glow over the town, Millie walked home with a smile on her face. She knew that she would still face challenges and that there would be difficult days ahead. But she also knew that she was stronger than she had ever realised. She was not just a shy tabby queen, she was a brave and resilient one.